What's up everybody? Down here at ICAST 2019 and it's a big day, a special day, a monumental day because Garmin, that's right, Garmin, Garmin, the electronics company, Garmin, makers of LiveScope Panoptics, GPS is galore. Yeah, that's right. They're now in the trolling motor game and today, today is the official release of the Garmin Force trolling motor and I'm here to give you a special sneak peek look at it before you can get your hands on one. Here we go. There it is, right there. The all new Garmin Force. Look at that, you got your battery indicator. It tells you what speed you're going right there. Built-in UHD transducer. Low profile pedal. Look at that right there. Got your low profile pedal. Has anchor lock. Lock your right in place. You won't move around whatsoever. Very cool. So here it is, the Garmin Force with a built-in Garmin UHD transducer. The wire actually runs up the shaft. You can see they've got the uh, Panoptics live scope mounted on it, but just very sleek design. One of the number one things you'll notice right out of the giddy, no cable. Look at this, nothing laying across my grass. Every time I put my trolling motor down right now, my cable lays on top of my graphs. It's aggravating. It hangs them. No cable. Look at this. No cable going to the pedal. It's free. This pedal actually runs off of AA batteries. AA batteries that will last up to 50 weeks on an average of three eight-hour days. Two AA's or you can actually plug it in. But AA's right there. So that's the foot pedal. Super low profile. Not high. So you're you're just, I don't know if you can tell, but very streamlined in the recessed trolling motor uh, compartment here. I'm not sure if that's what that's called, but very streamlined. So you're not cockeyed, you're, you're, you know, it throws my hips off a lot of times, especially in rough water. Uh, makes me sound like an old man, but uh, very streamlined. The pedal is very, very sensitive. Um, you have anchor lock, which will lock you down in one place. Then you have, um, you know, a navigation button here where it's going to keep you on, on course, uh, on constant. Very, very, very cool. Um, comes from the factory with a uh, cable instead of a rope, but you're going to want to put a uh, TH Marine G-Force trolling motor handle on that with a bigger handle. Just my personal preference, but uh, it will take a G-Force trolling motor handle. You have your indicator lights right here on top very cool it shows you uh, your battery life it shows you your um, that you're synced up uh, paired up with your Garmin unit here and it also is going to show you uh, your speed right here uh, right there it's going to show you 30% uh, more efficient than the competition it's very very quiet listen to that listen to that very very quiet but you'll what you'll notice without the cable there's no intrusion so I can go front to backwards so if I'm fishing docks and I go to stop real quick there's nothing look at that no resistance whatsoever on that trolling motor simply incredible uh, this is my first test run with it I can tell you right now speed wise they call it a uh, hundred pounds of thrust okay the competitor has been uh, you know Minn Kota it's been a 112 well we go by a Garmin, an ISO rating, and these are rated at 100 pounds of thrust. And I can promise you right now, I've ran a lot of trailer motors, uh, 36 volts to say they're 112. This thing is a beast. Uh, the same motor can be mounted to a 24 volt system uh, and runs 80 pounds of thrust. So the same trailer motor can go either uh, a 24 volt or 36 volt system absolutely incredible the bracket super sturdy super sturdy 
not not going to cause you any uh, any noise. You're not gonna uh, you're not gonna break this bracket. You're just not. Uh, another cool feature that uh, you know bass boat guys you might not use it as much i could see myself using it when i take my kids out and things like that uh, but it comes with this remote and very cool you can uh it, you can even control your garmin graph with this it's all integrated together um, but one of the things i want to show you <laughs> that's really cool so when i go i hit this manual button this dude wherever i wave this magic wand here look at this the trail motor head follows. Look at that. So I can actually be on the back deck of my boat having a Gatorade. On the back, my kids can be up here fishing, fighting, doing whatever they do. Y'all seen them on this channel. Uh, and I can be back here and I can just say, yeah, I wanna go over here, I wanna go over here, I wanna go over here. And wherever I point this remote, that joker goes. So I can be sitting back there, kick back, letting them fish and fight and do whatever. This thing's going to be awesome. I can't wait to get it on the 520 next year uh, for the 2020 season. Another feature that uh, I'm really excited about is the auto guidance feature. You can mark a waypoint and it will navigate right to it. You can sit down, tie on, do whatever, but ledge fishing, you know, maybe I've got two or three points on the same ledge I want to run and I can, and I want to check pretty quick. I can set the speed uh, at a medium speed or whatever and hit those waypoints as I go, as I drag a, you know, throw a Carolina rig out the boat and sit down and eat a sandwich. I'm lazy, whatever. Another huge key to the Garmin Force trolling motor is going to be the brushless motor. So no more armatures, no more water intrusion, anything like that is completely brushless, which makes it more efficient and makes it super, super, super quiet. Ha! Oh, jeez. That was real life. About fell in right here. Brushless motor. This thing cooks, dude. 30% more efficient. It's going to be better on your batteries. It's going to be faster, smoother. Pedal is super smooth, easy to operate. People, people always like to say, uh, "Luke, I am your father." Like, you know, uh, Star Wars references to me. So, may the uh, force be with you guys. Nah, it's bad. I'll probably get sued by Star Wars or something when 300 people watch this video. All right, Garmin Force.